Two interesting ones coming up. This Monday, I would say, is very much about Agatha, about my character, and it goes into her history in the early days when she arrived on that island on Fiddler's Neck, and her first sort of attempts to forge relationships with other people, other than her two brothers, and you see the, you know, how that's fraught with so much difficulty because of who she is and the fact that she will always be hunted and that she always has something to conceal. So it's kind of, it, it goes into like Agatha the woman versus Agatha the precog. And um, you'll see that, you know, she met a man and fell in love and, and it couldn't be what he wanted it to be and it couldn't be what she wanted it to be because of, because of who she is. So I think it, it explains to some extent who she has become now. Um, slightly more tough character. <laughs> um, you know, so you, you, you get to see a softer Agatha in, in the early days, and it, it really does explain a lot. Well, and yeah. we understand that Agatha does not really have the best feelings towards Vega because of what yeah. she has seen. Um, how fun was it to play that animosity? Oh, so great, so great. I mean, I've <laughs> always thought, from like, I, I always hoped from the beginning that, you know, they would eventually meet and, um, they can really sort of butt heads. Um, it's sort of a fine line because there is a moment, you know, she obviously is very untrusting of Vega and very upset that Vega has showed up on her home turf, yeah. which she never would have wanted. And yet, when she has to get into it, she has a slight grudging respect for Vega because Vega's smart woman as well and she kind of like is able to communicate with her woman to woman and this is the stuff I was talking about where you go into the Agatha's backstory um, and uh, Vega prize more than Agatha would want her to but they kind of reach a certain sort of grudging understanding and it doesn't mean she's any less suspicious of her but she can work within those confines like they can they find a way to almost work together mm -hmm. and um, and yeah yeah, they don't, they don't agree, they don't see eye to eye, but it's a fun episode. Uh, so <laughs> obviously, the, so much of the show is about knowing what's coming in the future and hopefully changing it for the better. Yeah. As Agatha gets, sort of starts begrudgingly working with Vega, is she's also just looking for ways to change these visions she's having. So, because, I, I mean, obviously the goal would be to not end up back in the milk yeah. We all know it's heading in that direction, but... That yeah. her goal has to be, I'm assuming, to stay She is, that. but it's such a big vision, such a recurring vision, and it and it's constant, and she keeps seeing it, and whatever happens, I mean, she has something that she says, and Vega actually brings it up with her. Vega says, hey, what if I'm actually, you know, have you thought about this? Like, what if I'm trying to help you? And Agatha's so disinterested in the meaning or the ramifications or, you know, what Vega's doing there if she's like, the one who's helped, trying to help release them, or the one who's trying to keep them there, or what it is, she's like, I, I, I don't really care. I see myself ending up in a milk bath. To me, that means captivity. I don't want it to happen. So, um, she's almost, you know, unconcerned with those kind of fine things. But straight away from your question, wait, <laughs> straight away, because I, what, what, what did you? What did it was, you, it's like as she starts working with Vega, is she? like looking for ways to yeah. avoid this future. Yes, definitely, definitely, but she does keep seeing it. So that's the answer. You know, she's she's taking each step, you know, taking the path she needs to at each point, but she keeps seeing it. So there becomes an inevitability about it. She starts to feel like, look, we're on the road toward this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the steps are along the way, but it's clearly coming. Mm -hmm. And and that keeps her that makes her want to keep Vega at bay even more.